Slash snack. Anyhow, a little catch up on the uh, challenger. Even though I got builds, group builds I'm part of that got to be done at the end of this month, I'm messing with this thing still. <coughs> um, I got some uh, cus custom seats, wheels, and tires. Two different sets. I'm going to see which ones I like the best. Uh, coming. They, in fact, they should be in the mail today, so on my way home, I'll stop at the post office. They should be in my P.O. box. But I got the spoiler glued on. I got a lot of primer. They got this line where the front pan on was puttied. They got that contour going all the way down on both sides. And there goes the hood. I scribed in some real panel lines where the, uh, I got to clean that one up a little bit more, where the real front pan goes on. And the real front pan doesn't go across here like Monogram or Mel set it up to do. Uh, I got the RT hood, it resin hood, it had the hood pins molded on, I took those off. And I took off the 440. Um, it was so light. You couldn't really read it anyhow, but I get to smooth that out. Uh, spoilers molded on, and glued on rather, and it's gonna be monochrome. That is why, because there was so much flash on these bumpers, they still need cleaned up. Yesterday here at work, I threw these in some stripper, which is actually floor stripper. They take wax off the floors. It really works good for uh, getting the chrome plating off, but. I got them stripped yesterday, but I never got them in primer because it turned to turned to hell you here yesterday. I I didn't have a moment's rest. I took like a 20 minute lunch, if that. Basically gobbled my food down. and got back to work. We were really busy, so. But anyhow, yeah, and you know the rear. Let me get under you. I'm doing this around the camera, so it's a little tricky. Here we go. And that'll be monochrome. I haven't decided on color yet. Um, I'm probably gonna have to tub this. In fact, if you look there, you can see somebody already started to do this. I, I think I got this kit um, from a friend of a friend or something, and it was already started. And I think he was gonna either tub it or just mini tub it or whatever. And he's, he started on it and that's about as far as he got. So I'm probably gonna have to tub it more because I have some wheels and tires at home that could also work. I may use them yet. I'm gonna see what these other ones look like in person. The only thing about them all, they're just a little too wide in here and it won't let it sit down. I mean, I don't want this thing laying frame, but I don't want it looking like it's on stilts. And all the custom wheels, the front ones, I can kind of tuck up in there. I may have to redo the spindles or fake it. You know, maybe just glue them up there and just, you know, they're not, it won't really be attached, but it'll look cool. Um, but I could tuck them up in there, but the rears just won't fit in here. They won't wedge in between the fender wells and, you know, the outer. Very nice. It looks like it's on stilts. I don't want that look. I want it, you know, hunkered down and the tires up in there. It's going to have the hot rod rate because almost all the, the wheels and tires I bought um, are staggered. And most of the ones I have at home are. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to decide where I'm going with that. But, yeah, I have, I can't decide whether I'm going a dark color or a light color or a medium color. And then the wheels, of course, the ones I just order are 3D printed. So they need to be, you know, painted with uh, chrome spray and a color or just all a color. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go light color with dark wheels or dark wheels and you know, and a dark car or a medium car, uh, whether I'm gonna go two-tone on it, you know, like do the top one color, the sides another, do the AAR CUDA style, you know, do this upper part flat black. I have yet to decide on color or colors and combinations thereof. But 
but I don't want to put any paint on this body until I get the wheels and tires and decide which ones I'm going to go with and mock up the chassis because I know I'm going to be handling the body a lot. So I don't want fresh paint on there. And once I uh, you know, decide, hey, yep, that's the wheels, that's the tires, and once I mock the chassis up and modify it and test fit it and it looks good, then I'll lay some color on here. I have some uh, paint at home. I got a, it's a Ford color. It's a very dark uh, metallic brown. Um, it almost looks burgundy in certain colors. I forgot what it's called. Uh, it was on some of the Tauruses and uh, a few of the other cars. It's a really good looking color. I was thinking of that and then, you know, some maybe some bronze spoked wheels with black rims. You know, the spokes would be bronze and maybe, you know, black, black the outer wheel or something. Or some gold or something, you know, some flat gold. I haven't decided. But, yeah, I just want to do a quick little catch up on that for you guys. And uh, it seems like all the winner's stuff uh, has arrived except for one, the uh, built up 34 Ford. Um, had some spare parts. I uh, should be seeing that today. I just did the tracking number. It's in your, it's in your town. It's at the post office, so it should be arriving at your home whenever your mail arrives. It's funny, yours is taking the longest. Um, hell, some of the California one, it was a couple days. I don't know how the Postal Service does half of what they do. The one going further got there faster than the one going closer. Go figure. You know, what the hell. But that's nothing new. I once mailed a check from my side of town to the other side of town. It took 13 days to get there. And the check had to be there. So I had to write another check and drive out there um, and drop, drop it off because it was, should have taken one day, two days at the most to mail it. And uh, so I, I drove out 20 minutes, just dropped it off, and then just, you know, told them to, you know, void the other check and tear it up when you get it. Yeah, you know, they got it 13 days. And, like, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But anyhow, uh, no, it's like three minutes till eight. I haven't even looked at the schedule. Hopefully today's not quite as hectic as yesterday was. Yesterday was nonstop. I never had a moment's rest. So hopefully it'll be better. But um, yeah, I'm going to get back to you guys too with the uh, under 1,000 build on the Scout. And then I got the uh, Fabulous 50s build for Herx Model Works. Um, I still got to get a lot of that done. And what is it today? The 13th? Yeah, 13th. So I have a little over half a month to get two done. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Scout's pretty close though. Scout's closer than the uh, 53 Ford is. 53 Ford still... Uh, has a chassis and interior and stuff to go and body details and all that stuff. For the Scout, yeah, it's engine and chassis mainly and some interior details. They're both kind of far out, but well, I'll see if I can make it. But this got till July 4th, so, you know, I could put that on the back burner for a while, but I like the way it's coming out so far. I'm really happy with it. And uh, just got to decide what the color colors are going to be and what wheel choice I'm going to put on. The engine is cool. The engine's something different. Uh, that should be here today too. That's another uh, 3D printed piece I got coming. I'm hoping it's half as nice as it looks. It'll be something different under the hood and uh, see if any of you can guess what I'm going to put under the hood. So, all right. Hey, I'm going to get my day started here and uh, Hope you have a good day. So, hey, you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Uh, interact. That's cool. And talk amongst yourself. You know? So, have a good one. Bye-bye.